A fast-moving residential fire in East San Jose, leaving nearly a dozen people displaced from their homes tonight. They started to get ready and they washed it out, but it was like a big, big fire and like so much smoke. The fire also sending one juvenile out of the hospital with burn injuries. Good evening this Saturday. I'm Christina Rondone. Crews were called to this fire near Clyda and Doburn around 2.40 this afternoon. There they found a duplex on fire. KTV Zach Sauce live outside that building tonight. Zach, we we're hearing two apartments, likely a total loss. Yeah, that's what firefighters are telling me, Christina. The apartment behind me, uh, very little left of it. Still, firefighters saying this could have ended far worse. This is a neighborhood of very tightly packed homes. And I told my, my daughter, my, my wife, he's come out, come out, don't, don't panic. Jose rushing his family from their home in East San Jose after seeing the two-unit duplex next door go up in flames Saturday afternoon. And then we start to see big flames, big, big flames. And I think it's with the wind, it's kind of close to the house. And I told the other neighbor today, come out, come out. Soon after, a transformer exploding. Fireworks like boom like a bunch of them. As firefighters pulled up to the home on Clyda Avenue. The crews were met immediately with a burn patient, so much of our uh, focus went to that patient. Describing the victim as a juvenile who managed to escape the fire by themselves before being rushed to a nearby hospital. Crews making sure no one else was inside. Neighbors watching on anxiously as the fire was quickly upgraded to three alarms. And I was like, oh my God. And then I kind of started to cry because I was like panicking so much. Crews working to prevent the fast moving flames from spreading to nearby homes. We actually had active power lines down during the firefight, so that hampered our ability to get in tight to the fire. Despite the obstacles, firefighters able to contain the fire to just the one structure, but the two apartments inside likely a total loss. What really matters is that nobody got killed. Yeah, that's all that matters. And the Red Cross was here earlier to assist residents displaced by this fire. As for the juvenile injured, we still don't know their condition right now. The cause of this fire still under investigation.